Cristo. Majestic, isn't it? I'm Diana. I'll take you to your quarters. Someone likes to keep secrets. Secrets are our stock and trade. Besides, from what I hear, you have a few of your own. I'm not like you, in case you're wondering. I'm in the Handler program. Agents and handlers work in unity. You know the expression, know your enemy? Well, that part is my job. Knowing your enemy is only half the victory. I know. You also need to know yourself. I'm working on it. I read your case file. Impressive work. Partly textbook, but I suppose field work never is. Tell me, what did it feel like, taking lives? Random. Disordered. Is that why you came here? Why you let us test you? Maybe I'm not the only one being tested. Well, we are here. Basic training starts at 0600 hours. I should leave you to prepare. Are you sure about this? I am. There are no second chances, Miss Burnwood. Not here. I choose him. May I inquire why? A blank slate? Antisocial? Apathetic and unresponsive? No doubt the boy shows promise, but... Perhaps I see possibility where others see limitation. Isn't that what a handler does, sir? We'll see. Anyone can kill Miss Burnwood. He still remembers nothing? If he does, he's not sharing. We will check up on his story. The hospital in Romania. In the meantime, keep him under close watch. How did you know? I told you he had talent. His stats are off the charts. Such skills and reflexes. They could only be the result of previous training. Power like that, with no moral restraint, it could be dangerous. I thought that was rather the point, sir. All agents have weak spots, Miss Burnwood. Pressure points to keep them in check. But this one... <sighs> Perhaps it would be better to just... Give me a chance, sir. Give him a chance. I will take full responsibility. Very well. It's your show. I just got word. Romania was a dead end. You're saying that he lied? Place is real enough. Deserted. But we found no trace that your man was ever there. Or anyone else for that matter. Someone erased his steps. Hmm. We'll keep digging, of course. But frankly, it's as if the Earth just spat him out. Are you still determined? Does it matter? I was told there'd be no second chances. Don't believe everything you hear, Miss Burnwood. My decision stands. Very well. I'll be watching. I hope you know what you just did. The chopper leaves at dawn. Now get out of my sight. So what happens now? You go back into the world. Disappear. Stay on your own and on the move. When we need you, we will contact you. And so does? He played his hand, and he lost. He cannot touch us now. <laughs> Still, I can't believe we beat him at his own game. If you know your enemy. <laughs> Quite right. I should tell you, the trail went dead after Romania. Our team found no records of any kind. No name. Nothing. I think they called me 47. That's not a name. So make it one. All right. Agent 
47. Good evening, 47. Your destination is the Paris Fashion Show by Sanguin, one of Europe's leading couture brands. Your targets are Sanguin owner Viktor Novikov, a former oligarch turned fashion mogul, and his partner Dahlia Margolis, a retired supermodel, an iconic power couple on the global fashion scene, and two of the most dangerous people in the world. Novikov and Margolis are in fact the ringleaders of Iago, an enigmatic spy ring that deals in the global elite's most valuable secrets. Unscrupulous and opportunistic, Iago has caused disastrous security leaks all over the globe. When Crimean separatists caused a deadly meltdown at the Odessa nuclear power plant, Iago gave them access to the plant security network. And when the Delgado drug cartel shot down the plane of President Hernandez and his family, Iago provided the classified flight plans. Now Novikov and Mogolis have obtained a knock list of British undercover agents, which they plan to sell at a secret Iago auction during the Sanguine show. So our client, MI6, need us to stop the ringleaders before the knock list ends up in the wrong hands. The Sanguine show will be swarming with security, and Viktor Novikov will be the focus of everyone's attention. But despite his posturing, he is merely the money man. The real target is Dahlia Margolis. Beautiful and brilliant, she is a master manipulator and the true brains behind Iago. Two targets, a highly public event. At first glance, an impossible task. Then again, I do know how you love a challenge. I will leave you to prepare. How was Moscow? Kamarov is gone. I set him up as a Langley spy. It's quite the scandal at the FSB. His death will not be investigated. Your turn. Very well. The secrets of the global elite. Five years of work. Everything we've collected. This thing makes WikiLeaks look like a gossip rag. 
The pen beats the sword, huh? I have found that whoever wields the sword decides who holds the pen. Smile, Victor. Your reputation is safe. Now run along. I'm sure you have pretty dresses to attend to. Victor. Good luck with the show. I have a feeling it's going to be the one you'll be remembered for. Good morning, 47. Your destination is the coastal town of Sapienza, also known as the jewel of the Amalfi Coast. Your target is a former client of ours, Silvio Caruso, a brilliant but troubled bioengineer employed by the Ether Biotech Corporation. Renowned for his early stem cell research, Caruso is now reportedly working on a far more disturbing project, a DNA-specific virus able to infect anyone, anywhere in the world. Imagine a bullet fired in any direction, passing through countless bodies without inflicting harm, invisible and undetectable until it strikes its target. A world of armchair assassins killing with impunity. This is what awaits us, unless Caruso is stopped. Our client, one of Ether's major private stockholders, wants the project cancelled on ethical grounds, but without destroying the company in the process. She has asked us to eliminate Silvio Caruso and destroy the yet unfinished virus prototype. You will also need to deal with Caruso's lab head, Francesca DeSantis, a high-level ether employee and cutthroat corporate climber who holds intimate knowledge of Caruso's research and could potentially carry on in his place. This is no ordinary contract, 47. Caruso's virus is a serious threat to our craft and trade, not to mention our core ideals. So failure is not an option. I'll leave you to prepare. Eat the security is in the dark about the incident. A few at the company knew about the virus, not even the board. Must have been someone at the lab. I understand. I'll get to the bottom of this. <sighs> Boss is unhappy. I followed you from Italy. I guess when you're invisible, you stop looking over your shoulder. You did this. Iago exposed you. ICA did the heavy lifting. I just pulled some strings. Yeah, you mind? How do you expect... I play dirty. That's how you defeat a stronger opponent. You strike from behind. Now give me the key. You have a family? Trust me, if there's a weakness, Providence will find it. I'll take my chances. The key. Fine. Won't do you much good. It's funny. Cobb said the same thing. Thank you, messenger. Don't. I just killed you. Then we're even. Good afternoon, 47. Your destination is Marrakesh, Morocco, where civil riots are looming. Your targets are private banker Klaus Strandberg and army general Reza Zidane, two of the conspirators in a sinister plot to overthrow Morocco's fragile government. 
Strandberg, a former bank CEO who stole billions of dollars worth of savings from the Moroccan people, was facing trial for investment fraud. But early this morning, a band of heavily armed mercenaries freed Strandberg from his prison transport, resulting in the death of several police officers. Strandberg now takes refuge at his native Swedish consulate, in front of which crowds of angry protesters have gathered, demanding his handover to Moroccan authorities. We believe General Zaydan orchestrated Strandberg's escape to infuriate the public and spark nationwide riots, allowing Zaydan to impose martial law. Operating out of a field HQ at a nearby abandoned school, he will no doubt use the riots to depict the Rabat government as weak and inept, and persuade the general staff to support a fully-fledged military coup in the name of national security. Our client, building contractor Hamilton Lowe, who stands to lose a fortune in government contracts, has hired us to prevent the coup d'etat. To do so, you need to paralyze Zidane's rebel forces and prevent the riots from escalating further, hence the double contract. This is quite the political powder cake, 47, so be careful. The fate of a nation is at stake. I will leave you to prepare. Compromise, but I, I don't understand. There is no sign of forced entry, no alarms, nothing. One of my people has gone missing in Johannesburg. A key bearer. I wish I'd been informed. Still, the system demands two keys, and the rest are all accounted for. But except for your late predecessors. Comp? But his plane went down over the Pacific. It was an accident. Such was the conclusion at the time. Yes. People die, Mr. Fannin. Happens all the time, even to us. It seems like a conspiracy. Probably isn't. And yet, the failed coup in Morocco the ether virus. Someone knows about us. There was a pattern and I failed to see it. Providence is under attack. <clears throat> How much was that? Money. <laughs> Not money, Mr. Fennin. Information on all of our assets and operatives, like you. Dig a trench, Director, and make it a deep one, because none of you are safe anymore. Good morning, 47. Your destination is the Himapan Luxury Hotel Resort on the Chao Praia River, just outside Bangkok. Your main target is Jordan Cross, the lead singer of The Class, a renowned indie rock outfit recording their highly anticipated sophomore album. But this millennial poster boy harbors a dark secret. One year ago, promising young actress Hannah Highmore fell to her death from Cross's penthouse loft in Dumbo, New York. According to the police, Miss Highmore's death was a tragic accident, but her parents remain unconvinced. They firmly believe that Cross murdered Hannah and only escaped justice due to the power and influence of his father, billionaire media mogul Thomas Cross. A secondary target, Ken Morgan, corporate fixer and attorney to the Cross family, is also staying at the hotel. Cunning and unscrupulous, Morgan was a key agent in the cover-up of Hannah Highmore's murder and Jordan Cross's subsequent acquittal. The Highmores understandably want retribution, and while the system may be powerless, ICA is anything but. I will leave you to prepare. The body of billionaire media mogul Thomas Cross was discovered earlier this evening, slain by multiple gunshot wounds. Cross was scandalously kidnapped this morning at the funeral of his own servant, the claim of a musician, Jordan Cross. A notorious recluse, Thomas Cross has not left the current in the years, and authorities are now looking into a connection between the two games.
Thomas Cross had billions in hidden offshore accounts, all stripped clean within hours of the kidnapping. Someone wanted the son dead to lure out the father. Someone smart enough to stay in the shadows while we did the wet work, and the High Moors picked up the check. A shadow client. Someone got rich. The contract was just. That was a sound problem. I know you don't care about politics, 47. But ICA is neutral, or it has been. We can't allow ourselves to be manipulated. Besides... It's happened before. Italy. Morocco. Paris. All our clients got their intel the same way. Anonymous tips from a hidden source. Each contract perfectly legit, yet part of a grander design. I don't see the pattern. Somebody does. The board has asked us to chase down this shadow client, and our analysts are closing in as we speak. I know that tone. Someone's playing a game, 47. The question is... Against whom? We have a lead on the Shadow Client. ICA White Hats have traced the anonymous data received by our clients to one Olivia Hall, brilliant young hacktivist and suspect in a dozen cases of cyber vandalism. Using onion routing with state-of-the-art encryption, Hall went to a lot of trouble to stay untraceable. She is good, but we are better. Her digital trail has led us to a remote farm in Colorado, where satellite footage has revealed what appears to be the training camp for a private militia, led by an already registered target, Sean Rose, Australian environmental terrorist and explosives expert wanted for a series of public bombings. Rose was spotted near the scene of Thomas Cross's kidnapping, which makes him our prime suspect for the shadow client. Spurred by Eric Soders, the ICA board of directors has asked us to infiltrate the farm and eliminate Sean Rose, along with three other prominent militia members. Ezra Berg, retired Mossad interrogator. Penelope Graves, former Interpol anti-terror analyst, and finally Maya Parvati, former assassin and gun runner for the Tamil Tigers. I'll be honest with you, 47. I consider Eric Soda's reasoning hasty and ill-advised. Now, we cannot go against the wishes of the board, but we can conduct our own investigation. Whether a direct threat to the ICA or not, we need to know the Shadow Client's true agenda. I will leave you to prepare. Rose is gone. It was me, wasn't it? They tracked me. I don't believe it. I took every precaution. Rose knew the risks. They all do. You did well, Olivia. I am proud of you. Now listen. The ICA knows about you. They kept you alive because they needed you, and now they don't. We won't talk again. Not until the storm is over. I don't like it. This man you know what he's capable of. You need to end this now. I ran away as a boy. My friend and I, away from that place. We came upon a small farming community. The people were dirt poor, but this woman, she took us in. We were awakened the next morning by the shots. A dozen people lay face down in the snow. Our warden didn't like to leave witnesses. 
They shot the woman and her family last. They made sure that we watched the whole thing. This is your gift, the warden told us. Your gift and your curse. Touching lives only by ending them. Better than anyone. Good morning, 47. The board has sanctioned Eric Soda's for termination. After Colorado, we did some digging into Soda's private affairs and discovered that he has been fast-tracked for critical heart surgery at the hyper-exclusive Gama Private Hospital in Hokkaido, Japan. Such a display of power has providence written all over it. Sodas, who suffers from a rare condition known as situs inversus, where his internal organs are reversed, desperately needs a right-sided heart transplant and has clearly betrayed the ICA to get it. He was admitted last night and is currently being prepped for a three-day surgery. We have booked you into Gama under the usual guise of Tobias Reaper, corporate shark here for a standard medical checkup. As such, you will need to play it by ear and procure whatever tools you need to complete the mission. You also need to eliminate Yuki Yamazaki, a Tokyo lawyer who works for Providence. Sodas has already given Yamazaki access to our client records and has agreed to provide a full list of active ICA operatives post-operation. This transaction cannot be allowed to happen. Sodas must pay for his treachery, and his insidious employers must be taught a lesson. ICA's sovereignty is at stake. Powerful as Providence may be, we need to draw a line in the sand. I will leave you to prepare. Miss Burnwood. That's not what my ticket says. We received your message. Loud and clear, I might add. Honestly, you could have just sacked the poor guy. I didn't catch your name. No, you didn't. There'll be no retaliation, not for Soders, nor any other recent fiascos. Someone's been meddling in our affairs, killing our operatives, and making the ICA look like fools. I think you got close to that someone, closer than we've ever been. That's why we're hiring you to take him down. I don't think so. Don't rattle our cages, Miss Burnwood. You really have no idea. You spy on us, bribe our people, and you have the gall to demand our help. No. You can't be trusted. Even so, we've been around for a long, long time. I think we could help each other. Some 20 years ago, your agency took in a young man with no past and extraordinary skills. In his own special way, he cares about you and vice versa. And ever since that time, you've never stopped wondering where he came from and who made him what he is. There was a doctor, some depraved experiment, but he's gone now. Ah. Well, if you believe the questions died with him, we have nothing further to discuss. If not, as I said, I think we could help each other.
partners then. Cheer up, Miss Burnwood. We, we are the lesser evil. This terrorist, he wants nothing but chaos. He's only a terrorist if you win. Miss Burnwood, we won a long time ago. This, this is maintenance. <laughs>